Came up from the bottom, better move a caution When I bring this out, find a form, I'm a slave When I pull up, get done to clap, my slayers run it back Make sure these demons remember the name I do them dirty like you, you when I'm dead calm Till I get hot, but I see through all your dead plots I'm in the guys and these who cut your head off Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they're nasty I'm in the middle of my legend, I'm in the middle of my legend Rather when I'm red flies, that wrong, that wrong Look at this, my best shot, flower, got a flower, got a hino Call me Kakadai, I'm a moon, lower moon, say I'm like a hot to another video okay so i know i have not uploaded in what's two to three days it's for good reason i've been working on videos don't worry but i can't upload them just yet because they're all deep woken videos deep woken is a game i've been playing a lot recently it's by the same people that made rogue lineage and that game i did a lot of videos for in the past as you can see from this playlist it says 120 rogue lineage videos so i used to go crazy with the rogue lineage content but obviously they have a new game called deep woken the game is in a media ban right now it's in close testing the game just reopened for us testers recently and i've been playing a bunch of that recently but anyway there's a media ban so any of those videos that i've recorded i cannot upload just yet but maybe i will soon i might be able to squeeze out at least one deep woken video for you guys but anyway that's where i've been i haven't been gone or anything i've just been on my computer playing deep woken but obviously that's not a good enough excuse for me to abandon my channel i'm not gonna abandon my channel but i've just been playing deep woken heavy anyway today we're gonna be playing some project slayers this game is probably like the most anticipated demon slayer game of this year and i've already recorded the video and i've played the game and i'm gonna be honest with you guys the game is okay Okay, it's nothing too crazy. The game is visually appealing, but there's nothing different about the game compared to most Demon Slayer games on Roblox. They all pretty much play the same. You start out, you level up off NPCs, you get your breathing, train your breathing, get to max level. After that, you do PvP, and that's pretty much the same rotation. Honestly, I'm still waiting for that new Demon Slayer game that's coming out in a few days. Definitely gonna do a bunch of videos on that, but I played Project Slayer today, and it's not really that bad, but I don't really think it's that good either. Yes, the game is very, very good looking, but it's not really that crazy, dude. But for whatever reason, most YouTubers on the platform right now think this game is going to be like the best Demon Slayer game of the year. Maybe best Demon Slayer game of the year, but honestly, it's nothing that special. But that doesn't mean this game is not a good game and you guys won't enjoy it. I did enjoy playing the game, but it's nothing too special, like I said. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to roll the footage for you guys. Make sure you guys do hit the sub button and like this video. Also, do follow me on Twitter. I'm at 39k followers, 1,000 followers from 40k, so please follow me on Twitter. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we are hopping in game now. And one thing I didn't notice when I looked at the game page is the amount of game passes this game has. Okay, um, I have my ping and stuff open. Let me close this out. So I get to select my character. So there's save character slots. That's pretty interesting. Let me lower this music a little bit. So as you can see, there's a bunch of game passes here. So 900 Robux, 1,200. Ooh, these are kind of expensive, but I can definitely see myself buying some of these though, because, well, why not? So I'm definitely gonna buy the VIP server one, even though it's 900 Robux. This is Gord durability. See how much air blows Gord can take. I'm not gonna buy that just yet. Probably a bit later. Progression viewer, what is this? View your current progress on mastering total concentration as a slayer or evolution as a demon. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Why is this sealed box 5,000 Robux? carry your friends in a sealed box and give them 50 percent of what you get is exp oh wow <laughs> that's crazy anyway let's select our character and customize it so i'm pretty sure we're gonna start out as a slayer uh, i kind of do want to start out as a demon because every time i play these games i always thought it was a slayer but whatever so um yeah, make the music play arena customize these are the only options at the moment so there is gonna be an arena mode with pvp in it Customize is what we're gonna do first because well obviously we gotta customize our character. So customization, nothing too crazy. Oh wait, wait, what? Whiff. Okay, so you can customize your character's whiff and make it like uh thick <laughs> or lanky if you want that. You make him very tall. People are gonna make some very, very weird options with this. Like look how short I am and look how huge I am. <laughs> uh this is actually pretty interesting. Thought there was nothing too crazy for the customization, but Looks pretty cool so far. I want to play as like someone that's very, very short. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be very, very small and short. <laughs> I'm going to put Z on literally everything. My character's probably going to be looking very weird in game, but who cares, I guess. Then anyway, let's customize our character and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, we're done customizing our character. We made this short buff dude. <laughs> this looks pretty funny. All right, spins left. Uh, oh, there's spins in this game. So I'm pretty sure this is the last name stuff, but it says it's disabled for now. So there's common 64%, rare 30%, legendary 5%, mythical is 1%. Oh, wait, I can open the tabs. Oh, so it's basically like your same old, same old clans from the show. 
and obviously the rarest ones being like uh, Kamado and Suki Kuni. So yeah, there's that. All right, so we're done customizing our characters, so I think we're good to go. But let me see how much these spins cost. Oh, they're not expensive at all. You can buy uh, 50 spins for 250 Robux. That's not expensive at all. Uh, 15 spins for 100 Robux. Wait, what? That's not accurate conversion but whatever i guess uh five spins is 50 robux okay that's pretty interesting so either you get a bigger bang for your buck or they didn't do the conversion rates right so i think we're ready to play the game so let's hop in game all right we're in game oh man my head is so big <laughs> my head is so huge my body is so small oh whatever who cares okay so i'm not sure where we're supposed to go first but there's a bunch of icons on my screen and the game looks beautiful let me increase the volume just a little bit more. So what we got right here? Can cough cough you please deliver this bucket of food here? Sure. Okay, are they gonna tell me where to go? Oh, they are. Okay, so it's all the way over there? Oh, you're drunk. I am not going over there, dude. <laughs> That's so far, dude. So fist. I want to check out the combat. Um. Oh, there's a map. Okay, so this tells me where to go. Oh, this is a nice feature. So you open the map and then it will point you in the direction of where you're supposed to go. So, so far, what is this? Not enough map points. Oh, you need map points. So this map literally just tells me to go in this direction and this will lead me to the village. This is actually a pretty cool feature. Or you can buy map points with Robux. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let me buy this. So I bought one map point. So I can use them to unlock, to unlock any of these uh, map features right here. So that's pretty cool. The one thing I'm concerned about is that why is my ping so high? I'm gonna have a server alone. That's uh, pretty scary, but let me restart the server and see what happens. All right, we're back in game. So my ping is back to normal now, so let's continue playing the game. All right, so we're gonna go to Kiri Bodding Village because I'm pretty sure that's where the game begins. And it's telling us to go there, so why not? Combat looks pretty standard. Uh, when you click your mouse, it pops up right here, like left, 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 and left, right. Yeah, nothing too crazy with the combat. I have to try it on NPC though. What the hell is this girl crying for? I just ran all the way from Ushumaru village, okay, why? There's no time to waste, gotta get moving. Uh, that that's it? Okay, whatever, I guess. And something interesting is that there's voice chat in this game, okay. I'm going to be playing some PvP in Miami, just yelling at me in my ear. And what the hell is this over here? What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. Damn, that guy just destroyed me. Alright, uh, what key is mouse lock? Oh, it's all, it's okay. Damn, damn! Okay, okay, so M1 combo with uh, holding space bar is not air combos. I'm not sure how to do air combos, but I'm dead. Damn. <laughs> okay, so I got to figure out the combat real quick. Game doesn't really do a good job at telling you how to like start and stuff. It kind of just throws you in, just tells you to go explore, which isn't really a bad thing, but to me, it's not really a good thing either. So let's see. So I press M. What is this? Okay, so you can create a party. What is this? Oh, this is your toolbar. What is this? You need a game pass to view this. Oh, this is the game pass stuff that they were talking about for total concentration breathing. And it's for demons, of course. And oh, there's codes in this game. Okay, so there are gonna be codes and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So these are all the controls. So this doesn't really look too bad. The only problem is I don't know where to go or what I'm really doing. The game really does not do a good job of telling you what to do. But whatever, I guess. I just have to explore and then I'll probably find something eventually. So be right back, guys. All right, we're at Kiribating Village. Okay. Hey, my name is Somi. Uh, skip the quest one, skip the quest two, skip the quest. What the hell? At first glance, this might seem like a normal village, but the truth is, bandit named Zuko and his mysterious subordinates have been abusing this village for a while. Zuko is too much work for you right now, but I think you're ready for subordinates. Okay. So I have to defeat his subordinates that are right there. Those are the ones that just literally just destroyed me, dude. Like, <laughs> okay, I'll try again, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose. Damn, they do so much damage, dude. Alright, okay, so I do the same amount of damage. I gotta hold F. Okay, oh, okay, so it displays above their screen what combo they're going to do. That's pretty interesting. Let me hold F. Okay, so yeah, he just guard broke me. Alright, so this guy's low now, but I wanna block his combo, but I'm pretty sure my block bar. Yeah, my block bar doesn't last too long. Alright. Okay, yeah, I can't kill this guy. Or maybe I can get to an M1 combo first. Let's see. Nope, I cannot get this guy into an M1 combo first. Huh, that's pretty interesting. The NPCs definitely do a bunch of damage at the start here, but I'll just keep running back until I beat the quest. Okay, something isn't right. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this quest because every single time I go back, I literally just get 100 to 0 so fast. What is this? 
pulling a boulder. What the hell? I have to pull this boulder? I don't know why they spawn me next to this boulder, but does this give me EXP if I do this? But yeah, something isn't right. I was doing the quest, and every time I do it and go back to those NPCs, I literally just get 100 to 0 and I guess I have to just keep pulling this boulder. I don't know why they spawn me next to this, but I'm going to pull this boulder over there and see what happens. I doubt anything's going to happen, though. Alright, so we're so close. Pull the boulder. No way, a demon's right there while I'm pulling the boulder. What? No! Right next to the turning spot? Are you serious? Ugh, come on, dude. Okay, be right back. Let me figure out how to progress because in my inventory, it doesn't show like a stats place to put stats in. Like if you look right here, this little circle thing isn't working. Everything else works, but this circle thing doesn't. Forget it. We're just going to do this bucket quest because I need the XP and I need it now. All right, let's see. This is daughter right here. I just ran all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Just take the damn bucket, dude. This must be for my father. I refuse to take it because he needs it more than me. Bruh. I guess he never gives up. Anyway, thank you very much. Okay, good. I ordered you, but the bandit, Cadden, has taken all my goods. What? That dude literally gave me no EXP for that, and I did all that running. Like, are you serious? What quest is this? Grandpa Wagwan. What the hell? Okay. My name is Wagwan. Someone was sent you to me. She didn't, but whatever. Well, I'm having a little trouble with my wagon. Mind delivering it for me? Sure. Where am I delivering this wagon? Over there? Okay, I guess. So I guess I was right. You're supposed to be doing delivery quests at the start, not these quests where you're fighting NPCs because at the start, you literally cannot compete with any of those NPCs. They just 100 to zero you. And this dude better give me EXP because that last dude said, oh no, I can't give you EXP because someone stole all my goods. Like, wh what does that even mean? They couldn't even give me EXP for that? Are you serious? All right, here it is. Uh, well done. I wonder if Sarah's done picking rice. So, did that give me XP? I'm pretty sure it did because there's this uh, pink bar around my uh, level 1 thingy. So, I'm going to go back to that village and see if I can get another quest. So, it seems you start out just doing these fodder missions. And, like, you can't really get into the action until later in the game. Like, the guy literally hinted if Sarah was done picking rice. So, I guess that's what I'm about to do next. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is Sarah right here. So, I got to help Sarah pick rice now. Uh, hello, I'm Grandpa Wagwan's older daughter. All right, I can use some help picking this rice. Okay, so I got to pick four of them, so be right back. All right, we are done. Thanks for the help. And I'm level two now. Let's go. All right, so is this thing working? It doesn't seem like there's an area I can put my skill points in. Like, what? am I doing something wrong? Or do you just get naturally stronger as you level up? I don't think there's a skill point system. So when I play Demon Blocks and Slayers Unleashed, I mean, obviously they're not the same game, but they have the stat points in the game. But this one, I guess it just doesn't. And both those games are copies of this game. So I'd expect this game had stats, but I guess they removed their stat system. So let me look around and talk to some more NPCs that are in here. What's this guy over here? Oh, this is Jep. Okay. Hello, I'm Jep. Uh, do you want to pair your sword? Talk to me. If your sword... Oh, wait, I don't have a sword. Can I buy one? Golden Katana, would you like to buy that for... Oh my gosh, a thousand? Jeez. Okay, how much is this one? Uh, 500? Bro, I can't afford any of those, man. Guess I gotta keep doing these fodder missions until I have enough money. Uh, does this guy have any more quests? Grandpa Wagwan. Oh, it's just the same quest. He wants me to deliver this wagon. I guess I'm just gonna keep doing this rotation until I have enough uh, money to buy a um, sword, so be right back. Alright, long story short, that quest was way too slow. What the hell is this? Oh, you can set your spawn with these green crystals. That's pretty cool. All right, so I need to freaking get some action. I'm literally getting bored, dude. Uh, would you like to buy some bandages? No, I don't want to buy no bandages, bro. This is literally getting so boring. I have to get some action. So I'm just going to start this bandit quest and see if I progress by doing this because this is way too damn boring. So someone wants me to take care of these bandit subordinates out here. So that's what I'm going to do. So bear right back, guys. And it's funny because it says defeat seven, but it only says five. <laughs> All right, we only got to do one more NPC. And also... The reason why my arms were gushing out blood for so long is because my fists were broken. So basically, if you hold F, your fist can break. As you can see, this little yellow, well not yellow, this red bar right here, this is your fist right here. If that breaks, you cannot M1. And that would mean that you have to repair your fist. And this guy takes like no damage. Why is this guy so tanky, dude? What the hell? So as you can see, that yellow bar, I mean, well that bar is red, meaning my fist is about to break and you're wondering you're probably wondering why is he not blocking i'm not blocking because if i hold f for too long my fist will break and then i'm going to repair my arms with bandages 
And as you can see, I don't really have that much money on me. I only have $22 on me, so I'm not going to repair my fists. So I'm just going to keep going back until I finally beat this guy. All right, so this one's almost dead. After this, we can finally do something else because literally we haven't done anything this entire video other than stupid delivery missions. And like, I mean, delivery missions are fine, but like the start of the game is so damn boring. <laughs> it's ridiculously boring, dude. The game does a terrible job telling you how to play. Like a ridiculously terrible job because I was wondering why the hell my fist tool wasn't working, but it just turns out my arms were just broken. And like the game didn't tell me that, so I didn't know that. And that's basically why you gotta ba buy bandages because if you don't buy bandages, you're just gonna be sitting there here with a broken fist. So I'm gonna save up for Katana here, but before I save up for Katana, I have to buy bandages to repair my arms because as you can see, 3 out of 12. And my fists are literally about to break again. And it's cost 69 when, so that's why it's kind of annoying. So I'm literally just not going to block any NPC's attacks for the rest of the freaking video probably until I get a sword. Because blocking their attacks is literally just bad for me because my fists are going to break. And if my fists get deteriorated and break, I do less M1 damage. So like, I got to stop blocking, I guess. It's really weird and really iffy at the start, but I guess it gets better later. You did a really good job with those subordinates, okay? My sister was captured by Zuko subordinates a few weeks ago. Since you're this strong can you go rescue her sure isn't she right there defeat two subordinates while carrying i gotta carry her while defeating the subordinates that's ridiculous you didn't interact you can't even pick her up like wh what and this nbc is literally just bodying me the start of the game just doesn't feel right like it just like these npcs literally just infinite combo you and like i can't even use a basic function like holding f or else my fists are just gonna break and i have to repair my arms again it's so annoying like i have to literally just dodge all their punches instead of just eating the m1 combo how do i pick this girl up there's like no way i pick this girl up while doing this hold on hold on let me see if i go up to her and press h okay that's what i'm supposed to do that's ridiculous dude they want me to like use the actual player pickup feature and you wouldn't know that unless you like looked at the actual settings option i guess all right i'm carrying her so i have to defeat two subordinates while carrying this girl oh my god this is so irritating because she literally just drops if you oh my god she drops if you get hit once like what is that okay one more m1 combo this guy's dead i just gotta slide into it there we go okay that's another one so i'm just gonna drop her and then lower this guy and then pick her back up start of the game feels like literal garbage but i guess it just gets better once you finally get a sword all right npc's low let me carry her okay let's see slide there we go we're done wait what oh, okay i have to just bring her in now all right, so I'm going to die here, and I'm just going to run pick her up and just take her in. So, so far, my complaints about this game is that it doesn't tell you what to do at all. Like, it literally just throws you in and just tells you to explore, I guess. And, like, I don't know. It, it just does not. Oh, my God. This NPC is here. What are you doing? Oh, one more thing. But anyway, my complaint so far is that the game doesn't really tell you what to do. You just start the game. They don't tell you how to fight or anything. It just throws you in and just tells you to explore, I guess. I appreciate all that. Um, think you're ready to fight Zoku? Oh, the boss guy? I mean, I guess. And another thing is that I hate this fist breaking feature. It's so trash. Like, your combat tool will literally deteriorate over time, resulting in your M1 damage lowering if you hold F. Like, I literally can't use a basic feature like holding F or else my fist damage is just gonna go down. But the UI and stuff and the visuals and stuff look nice for the game. All right, uh, this guy's pretty tanky, but he doesn't look like anything too crazy. Just gotta slide and do M1 combos. And yeah, there is no stats feature in this game. So you literally just have to um, level up and that's pretty much how you get stronger. I'm just gonna eat this M1 combo. I have to literally just dodge all his punches. That's all I really can do. And I'm pretty sure the same thing is probably gonna happen with swords. Like if I hold F with my sword, it's just gonna deteriorate my sword my sword just gonna do less damage i mean i guess it's supposed to be like realistic but it just feels terrible like it literally does not feel good at all and this guy's almost dead uh let me see if i can m1 this guy one last time there we go oh one more m1 combo gets seven hp i destroyed this guy damn so yeah you do feel stronger over time as you low up so that's pretty good you actually feel stronger but i just hate that fist feature it's so dumb you did great grandpa's having trouble with his wagon again oh no i'm not doing that crap again we're gonna have to do a lot of jump cuts and cut a lot of parts of this video because we still haven't even gotten a sword yet which is pretty crazy and we just started playing the game so i guess this game is gonna have like a lot of play time to it because it doesn't really seem like you can level up very fast in this game all right so far the start of the game is probably mega slow because uh we 
we've played for about like almost an hour now. We're only level four, which is pretty crazy, but whatever. So I'm gonna do all these quests again and probably level up to our own like level seven. One thing I do like is that they they have like the little drops percent displayed. Like as you can see, it says 20%, and it has the damage log displayed as well, so you can see who's doing the most damage. I really love that feature. I wish other games did something like this, but other games are too lazy, I guess. All right, so we are level seven now. My fists are breaking. Oh god, I hate this feature so much. It's literally just like Tanger in the show how like his arms just kept breaking every time he got into a fight, so he couldn't use a sword anymore and uh whoops my bad let me buy this sword that costs a thousand now uh this green can for 500 i don't want this one golden katana for a thousand and oh wait do i have enough for that okay i do okay good perfect thousand and sixty nine let's buy that all right we got this golden katana and we did get the drop from the guy and as you can see um when you equip it it gives me 20 extra health so that's pretty cool and where is this katana at there it is. So, yeah, it does have its own durability thing. Damn, I hate that durability function so bad. Like, the du the durability feature in this game is so stupid to me, but whatever, dude. <laughs> All right, so we have a sword now. So what we're going to do is we're level 7. Uh, I want to get to level 10 real quick so I can do the next mission or the next area. So we're going to keep doing this quest until we're level 10. So bear back, guys. All right, we are level 10 now. Jeez, that took a while to do. <laughs> Oh man, this game is something else, dude. The game looks really nice so far, though. Like, the game is not a bad game, just that it's just... Uh, at first glance, it's a little annoying, but it's not that bad, I guess. At first glance, the game can be confusing because they spawn you at that village, and then um, you think that you're supposed to be farming that village, but that village over there is actually the level 10 village, and you have to like get a quest to come over here, and this is where you're supposed to be farming first. I don't know why they wouldn't just spawn you at this village, since this is basically where you start out, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, um, let's go to Zapior Cave, and let's buy a Robux, because I don't want to spend money. That's... 3,500. That's very expensive. Just for you to know where to go, you have to pay for that. Unlock Zapuar Cave. Wait, it didn't tell me the right way. Whatever. I saw a cave over here, so I want to go to this cave that's over here. But anyway, the visuals and stuff for this game look really nice. And that's like my main thing. Wait, what? Zapuar Cave says it's that way. Why is it over here? I knew I wasn't tripping because I knew it was over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought this was a great place to explore until I went inside and saw some type of humanoid creature. I could tell. I could tell. It was not human. That's why I'm scared. Let's get rid of these creatures. Oh, they're demons in here. So I gotta defeat three of these demons that are in this cave. And also, there's two breathings in this game at the moment. There's water breathing and there's thunder breathing. I'm gonna go water breathing because I'm pretty sure every single YouTuber probably went thunder breathing. And I don't want to go thunder breathing because of that. So I'm gonna go water breathing. Uh, when I finally figure out how to get it, of course. Not sure if we're gonna get it this video though, but we'll see. So you just probably gonna be very long because I'm probably gonna do a bunch of jump cuts, but hey man, it is what it is. Alright, so there's three demons in here and only one aggro at a time, so this shouldn't be too Oh, this guy's tanky as hell. What? Okay, no he's not. Okay, I thought he was tanky as hell, but he's not. I just couldn't see his HP bar that well. And oh my god, he perfect blocked me. And that lowered my durability. I don't even know how to do the M1 combos where you do like air combos and stuff. It's like left, right, left, right. You had to like do the right command input, and I don't know the command input since it's like obviously I've only been playing for like an hour now. But I'm pretty sure it's like left, right, right, left for an air combo. Right, right, left. Okay, it's not left, right, like right, left. Oh god, I'm getting confused myself. But yeah, let me just kill all these demons. I'm just gonna M1 them because I don't really care to do the special combat thingy but yeah let's finish this quest up and then we're gonna go into the next mission. and the mission is over all right that didn't level me up but i was close there i guess but the game is not that bad i can tell it's kind of going for like a little more gpo aspect but with demon slayer and that's not bad we need more games like that because gpo very nice looking presentable game and i'm okay with having a game like that the game could do a lot better job of telling you what to do at the start, though. Like, and I'm not going to get over that. And I hate the feature where your, like, weapons can, like, break and stuff. Not sure if I like that feature, but we'll see how it is on release. Anyway, uh, let's go to the Butterfly Mansion now. And for some reason, I guess I did not um, press equip, and that's what I was supposed to be doing. There you go. Press this quip and the butterfly mansion is this way. That's what I was supposed to be doing. That's why it didn't point me in the right direction. I like this map feature. This map feature is pretty cool. So you don't get like confused on where to go. So you can swim underwater in this game. This is pretty cool. What is down here? Oh, you can take a rock. All right. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, my oxygen. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> 
Whoops. All right, let's go back to the. All right, let's go to the butterfly mansion. We're gonna do some stuff at the butterfly mansion. This thing even spell mansion, right? But whatever. We're gonna do some stuff at the butterfly mansion, and after that, we're probably gonna end the video. But we'll see. All right. So change of plans. We're gonna keep doing this quest until we're level 12 because to start your water breathing journey, you have to be level 12. So that's what we're gonna do. We keep doing this quest till we're level 12, and after that, we're gonna go get water breathing. So bear bad guys. Says I'm pretty sure we don't have that much time left on this video. All right. Last soccer idea demon and then we can go get water breathing this is kind of taking a long time i'm not gonna lie but hey it is what it is the game opened at three o'clock and right now it's 5 30. i've been playing this game for two hours now it's wild but i mean progression is kind of slow in this game and damn it we didn't get to oh my god we didn't get to level 12. Maybe I can kill like one or two more of these and then it should take me to level 12. We'll see. I wish they didn't do like the little left, right, left, right air combo thingy because I don't even know the command to put for it, but I'm pretty sure it's like left, right, right, left or something. I don't know why they did that instead of just using a basic feature like just holding space bar. They wanted to be complex. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but like I, I just don't really like it. I'd rather just hold space bar and then do an air combo like GPO. It's just simple. I don't know why it's just complex. Not everything needs to be complex. I mean, I, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to go for something different, but it's just not needed. Like every single Roblox game has it to where you just hold space bar and then you can just do an air combo. Like it's just simple that way. All right, we're level 12 now. Um, we should probably repair our sword because we're not doing that much M1 damage. So our sword is about to break. So we're gonna go repair our sword and then after that, we're gonna get water breathing. I'm not sure if we're gonna get all the water breathing skills this video, but we'll see what happens. All right, our sword is now repaired. So now we're gonna get water breathing and the mod told me that the water breathing is like at a waterfall inside of it or something. So I'm gonna look around there and see if I can find right, it. Where is this waterfall? Should be somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure that's the waterfall right there. Yeah, that's a huge waterfall right there. I'm not gonna lie, the game was pretty boring at the start there, but once you get to like level five, or I think level like four ish, it starts to pick up and you start doing damage to these NPCs. Like when I was level one fighting that NPC, that thing was just obliterating me. Is this where I go? How the hell do I get in there? Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get in there. Oh, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. So a special cave. All right. Oh, this place looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the trainer right here, or Kodaki. Uh, you traveled great lengths to see me. I really didn't, but okay. I can assume <laughs> you're only here for one thing to learn water breathing. Yes, I am. It will cost you five thousand. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. Come on, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> Let's just go to the butterfly mansion. Oh my lord. Who's this? Oh, Sabato. Oh my god. Bro, I was not trying to fight you, dude. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to go to the Butterfly Mansion, bro. Where do you think you're going? I'm going away from you, that's for sure. The hell? The hell away from me. This is not over. <laughs> oh, my lord, dude. What the hell is a shining thing right here? Is that a flower? Uh, blue lily flower. Okay, I'll pick that up, I guess. All right, what is this girl doing? She's level 25 plus. Damn, I may not even be able to do any quests that's here. All right, we're at the Butterfly Mansion. A good a good place to train, it says. Oh, man. We definitely are not able to get water breathing in this video, but I can get it next video for sure. Um, I'm probably going to do a bunch of leveling off camera because uh, I'm only level 12, which kind of sucks, but, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, is there any quest here? I don't think I'm able to do anything here. I can buy a gourd though, I think. Let's see. A uh, small gourd. Would you like to buy a small gourd? 200. Okay, that's not bad. Sucks that I wasn't able to learn water breathing. It costs 5k and I definitely am not going to farm all that this video. Alright, so how do gourds work in this game? Let's see. You need a game pass to be able to view your gourds durability. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. 50 robux. That's not that bad, I guess. Alright. Uh, I bought it. So there's three blows. Oh, only three? No wonder they're so cheap. You get like no blows from this crap. Bro! <laughs> no wonder they're so cheap. You literally get like no uses, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, what a medium gourd. Can I even use this? You need to break six more gourds in order to buy this. Okay. Oh my god, dude. You have got to be kidding me. No wonder these things are so damn cheap, dude. I thought I was getting into something for a second here, but nah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to end this video here. The game is not bad, but 
Um, I feel like leveling could be sped up just a little bit because I'm playing for two hours and I'm only level 12. Like, are you kidding me, dude? But yeah, it's definitely a good game. It's a good looking game visually and uh, it plays well so far. I mean, I know I haven't done anything too crazy other than like beat on NPCs, but I mean, so far, I mean, it's not that bad. I definitely hate this weapon durability stuff. Project Slayers, the start is kind of awful, but I mean, it's not that bad. I definitely give it another chance. It was kind of boring in the start there, but it kind of picked up a little bit anyway that's kind of to do it for me project slayers is not too bad of a game but uh, i definitely need some work i can definitely see why it's in testing but yeah that's kind of to do it for me i'll see you guys later take care stick to the code stick to the plan you got a blueprint map in your hand don't grow up too fast because you might slide past the best experience young adults they never change no way i feel fine that's what i hear all day Reckless, live forever all